What's up family, Trail here and we have even more callings for stimulus aid over the weekend. We now have lawmakers calling for a special session to discuss how they can use their budget surplus to give out additional stimulus checks. Yes, this could be as much as $2,500. Also, we have information about where OPEC is finally speaking out about who is really to blame about the rising gas prices that we saw 30 days ago. And lastly, we have information Information about a key representative to the Russian president that was killed over the weekend. I've got the details for you in just a moment, but real quick, don't forget how much a simple press of the like button does for this video and for this channel. And also, guys, I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So if you could help a brother out, I am almost there. But anyways, if you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now and let's jump into the video. Well, guys, perhaps the heat index and the heat craziness is probably over right now. Well, right now, guys, yes, we first dealt with the drought and now we are dealing with flash flood warnings in the state of Texas. Yes, guys, we have seen over the past 30 to 60 days where the heat index has been crazy in pretty much all of the United States. And now things are turning around for this particular week that we are entering in, in which Texas is suffering from the threat of a flash flood in the state of Texas, but not just Texas, guys. Hey, we did see yesterday where there was actually a tornado that touched down in Arizona. I mean, come on now. I mean, they usually don't deal with this type of weather conditions in the West Coast. But yes, guys, right here we can see that in this picture, it shows that a tornado ended up touching down in the state of Arizona. Now, it says that the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for northern Mojave County in Arizona, which is near southeastern Lincoln County in south central Nevada and northeastern Clark County in southern Nevada. Now, a tornado touched down about eight miles northwest of Mesquite, Nevada at about 4.45 p.m. on the Pacific time on Sunday with damaging winds and quarter size hail. Now, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed, damaged to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur as well, as well as tree damage is obviously likely. So yes, guys, like I said, the weather is turning around right now, and now they are drenching us with rain in majority of the states right now. So I definitely want to remind you guys to stay safe throughout the remaining of this week. Uh, moving on, guys, hey, we do have some breaking news that ended up happening on Sunday, early on Sunday. Yes, a particular car explosion ended up killing Daria Dejini, which is the daughter of a Russian nationalist who is known as President Vladimir Putin's brains. Yes, guys, in this particular article, it talks about the daughter of an influential Russian political theorist who is often referred to as Putin's brain was killed in a car bombing on the outskirts of Moscow, according to officials on Sunday. Now, the Moscow branch of the Russian investigative committee said that preliminary information indicated a bomb was planted in the SUV driven by Daria Dejini, which is around 29 years old, and it exploded suddenly. Sunday night and killed the TV commentator who was the daughter of Alexander Dujing, which is a nationalist philosopher and a writer in the country of Russia. Now, guys, right now there has been a launching of a murder investigation after this particular car bombing kills the daughter of this key Putin's ally. And yes, guys, I would imagine that Vladimir Putin is definitely not happy right now, and he definitely probably wants to do even more war towards Ukraine, in which Ukraine right now in the city of Kiev is being blamed for this particular car bombing. However, those in Kiev have already put out a statement and said that they are not or have nothing to do with this particular car bombing of this particular ally to the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. But anyways, guys, we will probably see more information being revealed as the week goes on, and I will keep you guys up to date as usual. And hopefully this doesn't cause the president to cause more harm than he already has in the country of Ukraine. But anyways, guys, I will keep you guys posted as usual. Hey, the CDC put out a major
major announcement over the weekend, and this is because of a particular E. coli outbreak in four different states. Now, they're saying that this particular E. coli outbreak is caused from Wendy's customers in which they receive some particularly infected lettuce from Wendy's locations in these particular four states. Now, this particular article says that the CDC is probing this particular E. coli outbreak in these four states as some Wendy's customers fall ill to the virus. Now, it says that the U.S. Centers of Disease and Control, or CDC, said it is probing an E. coli bacteria outbreak in four states from an unknown food source, with many of the affected reports to have had sandwiches at Wendy's corporations. Of the 37 sick individuals, 22 people were said to have consumed Wendy's sandwiches with romaine lettuce in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania in the week before they fell ill, the agency said on this past Friday. Now, so far, guys, the investigators, however, are yet to confirm if romaine lettuce is the cause and also if the vegetable used in Wendy's sandwiches was served or sold at other businesses. And the burger chain said that it is taking the precautions of removing sandwich lettuce from its restaurants in the region, nearly 1,100 of roughly 5,900 Wendy's U.S. restaurants are located in these particular four states. So guys, if you live in these particular regions or these particular four states and you possibly ate at the restaurant Wendy's at during these particular times, you might want to be careful right now because you possibly could be infected with this particular E. coli outbreak. Be mindful of that in case you come up sick. Definitely report to your nearest hospital or physicals to have information detected in your system. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know because of this particular illness that is traveling through Americans right now. And yes, guys, thousands of individuals could be infected from this E. coli outbreak. But again, guys, we will probably find or hear more information being developed as this week goes on. I will keep you guys posted as usual. But in some other breaking news, we do have some information in regards to the increase in gas prices that we saw about 30 to 60 days ago in which OPEC, they are now speaking out about it. And yes, the chief of OPEC says that, look, they are blaming the policymakers and the lawmakers for the oil price rises. Yes, guys, I mean, shockingly enough, they also said that, look, policymakers and lawmakers are insufficient oil and gas sector investments are to blame for the high energy prices, not OPEC at all. They are putting the blame on these particular lawmakers, saying that the producer group's new Secretary General Hatham al-Ghazi told Reuters on August the 18th, the lack of investment investment in oil and gas sector following a price slump sparked by COVID-19 has significantly reduced the OPEC spar or spare production capacity and limited the group's ability to respond quickly to further potential supply disruption. Now, the price of Brent crude came close to an all-time high of $147 per barrel of gas back in March after Russia's ordering of troops into Ukraine's supply concerns. While prices have since declined, they are still painfully high for consumers and businesses globally. And yes, guys, OPEC is saying don't blame them. Blame the policymakers and the lawmakers because OPEC and the producing countries have been pushing time and time again for investing in oil and gas production so that they can support the United States as well as other countries. So again, guys, we need to think about this in regards to when we go to the polls come this midterm elections and voting for these particular policymakers and these particular lawmakers because they are the blame altogether for these rising in gas prices. Yes, guys, it says right here that OPEC has been pushing them to do something about it, to produce the production and to do these other things that is going to fight for the future in regards to the oil prices in this country. So again, guys, we are just glad to see that the oil prices have finally come back down once again and they are a little bit stable right now, but it does appear that they are about to go back up once again. But anyways, guys, I sure hope not. But we also
also saw in the previous video, if you didn't go ahead and check that out, you can right here that certain states are offering free gas cars. So again, guys, as gas prices continue to stay mildly high, we do see other states offering gas relief checks and debit cards to provide to individuals and Americans. So that gives them some form of relief during these economic times. But anyways, guys, last but not least, we do have a bit of stimulus update news to share with you today. And that is for the state of Montana, in which Montana legislators are weighing in on a special session for about one point five billion dollars in their budget surplus and they want to take some of that money to provide to the residents in the respective states. Montana lawmakers will weigh in on whether to hold a special session in September to return some of the state's one and a half billion dollars estimated budget surplus to taxpayers and to reduce bonded debt. Now these particular unforeseen, unappropriated and surplus tax collections belong to the people of Montana per the Republicans to to Montana Secretary of State requesting a special session saying in a statement that the people of Montana have overpaid their tax liability to operate our state of Montana. But anyways guys, 10 lawmakers signed the letter. One of the conditions for requesting the Secretary of State issue a poll on convening a special session on Friday according to the Secretary of State and the letter calls for a September 29th start date. A special session isn't guaranteed but Senate Majority Leader Carrie Smith, one of the signers of the letter, said he's hopeful that the required simple majority will agree it's a good idea to provide additional stimulus checks to the Montana residents. Now, in this particular letter, it says that it is requesting the special session sets out three particular goals. Number one, rebates of up to $1,000 for Montana resident homeowners who pay property taxes on primary residents in 2021 and 2020. Also, number two, rebates of up to $1,250 for individual taxpayers. And number three, $2,500 for couples filing jointly and a payment of $100 million to reduce Montana's bond the debt. So again, guys, also in a statement, they said that, look, we want that to happen now while people are struggling with the effects of inflation and not make them wait until next year in the month of May. So again, guys, the Republicans in Montana are trying to fight to operate this particular budget surplus of one and a half billion dollars to provide some particular stimulus checks to their residents in the respective states. Again, those checks could be in the range between one thousand dollars and up to $2,500 for a Montana residents. So guys, again, this is some awesome news and hopefully we will continue to see more states trying to figure out what to do with their budget surplus in the coming days, in the coming weeks, as well as in the coming months up to the midterm elections in November. But again, guys, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.